Hello friends, welcome to the first session for the series interview preparation and tips. Today in this session we are going to see how effectively we can give an introduction to the interview. So let's get started. Let me just open the new tab, navigate to the YouTube channel. We have a playlist folder here and we are recording this session for the interview preparation. Okay, we go with this document. Let's get started. Okay, so what four points are there which we can actually refer when we are introducing in front of the interview? Okay, so how many times like uh, in each and every interview, uh, most of the interviewers are will ask you like, yeah, tell me something about yourself. Okay, or introduce yourself. So I will be discussing some of the points which you can use while introducing yourself in front of the interview. Okay, so first of all, do not just start with that directly like my name is ABCD or something. Wish him. Okay or if she is a lady then definitely wish her okay it's like you have to say good morning good afternoon as for the time actually or good evening okay then you can start and you can actually tell him or tell her that yes you have started working from which year suppose you have started working for the it industry in year 2017 or 2018 or 2012 okay so you can tell them the year after that you can tell them like yeah this is the which is your current organization okay you are currently working with which organization and what is the client name after this you can directly start with the application or the product you are work currently working on okay you can tell a very brief information about the product and the application then you can definitely tell him about the working methodology you have okay working methodology we say like whether you are working in a agile or something so what type of meetings are you running there okay then you can definitely come to the tool side like what are the tools you're using for project management or for the defect tracking purposes okay what are your roles and responsibilities like how what is your daily routine basically okay then you can come to the tools and technology side i mean to say if you are working for test automation then what kind of automation are you working on what kind of library are you using suppose if you are working for web automation and you are, you are using selenium web driver api and you are working with java as a programming language you can then all that steps all that stuff okay then you can tell them about the libraries what if there are some other libraries third party libraries you're using and then how are you reporting to the client basically and then are you running your test cases either api or for mobile or for web into some ci cd or not okay i already have uh, prepared one template for you guys let me just open that for you I'll share this document as well and I'll guide you like how you can download this document. Let me just. Okay, so here it is. So it's just an example basically. Okay, um, it's not something like, yeah, you should definitely use directly this 100% same. No, not at all. You can definitely uh, update this as per your experience, as per your tools and technologies which you're working with. Okay, so for example, um, the interviewer name is Akash. Okay, so you can start with like, hi Akash, good morning, good afternoon or evening. My name is Rajat Verma. I have been working in the software industry since the year 2017. Currently, I am working with a US-based airline company. The name is JetBlue Airways. The application on which I am working is a responsive website. Okay, so here you are clearly mentioning that, yeah, you're working on a web application and that is responsive in nature. Okay, where what you can do, like what end users can do, they can do register themselves and log into the, log in into the application they can do the flights booking they can check in the flights they can book the hotels and cars also okay after this you can tell like yeah what is the methodology we are following we are working in agile methodology and we are following the scrum framework basically we have a sprint of two weeks now you see in this one line only you have clearly explained that yeah you are following the scrum framework okay and you have a sprint of two weeks and you are working with agile methodolo methodologies after that you can definitely tell him or her like you are included in what type of meetings in the like what are the agile ceremonies you are involved in 
like uh, whether you are a part of sprint planning meeting are you attending the daily scrum stand ups or not are you uh, a part of sprint review and sprint retrospective meetings or not okay then you can tell about the tools like yeah which you are work which you are using for the project management and defect tracking purposes so you can say like we are using the jira tool for project management and defect tracking tool as a defect tracking tool and you are writing the test cases as a, in the zip file we are not using excel sheet or something to write, to write the test cases manually we are working with zip file okay now you can say like what type of automation are you doing suppose if you are doing web ui automation so you can get started with this i am responsible for web ui automation which includes script development means you are develop you are working on the development of scripts then scripts execution you are responsible for execution of those scripts basically and you have to report that as well like the status of the test cases and then you have to maintain those scripts as well suppose if in case any of the locators got changed so you have to tell them you have to update those scripts basically okay now coming to the other tools and technologies so you can say like yeah i'm working with java as a programming language and uh, using eclipse or maybe intellij ide for writing the code for web ui automation we are using selenium web driver api on the test automation framework side we are using test ng as a testing framework now you see in these three lines basically you have clearly explained that yes you are working with selenium web driver api it's an api it's not a tool okay you are working with test ng as a what you are working with test ng as a testing framework so you are clearly mentioning that test ng is a testing framework maven as a build and dependency management tool now you see sometimes what happens like when i take interviews of the people so what happens um, i ask them directly like what is maven okay then they will directly jump into the details like yeah you can add the dependencies we have a pom.xml file you update that uh, you just save the file and update the project all those dependencies will be get out no no one is asking you about that for example suppose if someone is asking you what is delhi basically delhi is a capital of india right so you shouldn't tell like uh, we have kutub minar in delhi we have we have uh, we have something like we have palika bazar okay we have these many locations no you should directly say what is delhi delhi is the capital of india khatam okay now other than this you can tell them about the yeah, you have experience working with the design patterns as well like the page object model and uh, along with that have you ever have you implemented the page factories or not in that page object model okay um after this you can tell them about tell them about the open source libraries if you have worked for like whether you have worked with log4j for logging purposes whether you are using the extent reports for the reporting or if your framework is a data driven framework then from where are you actually picking the data if it is excel sheets then you are using apache poi library for reading and writing operation for the excel files after that you can tell like yes for the version control system we are working with github or bitbucket and uh, we are pushing all our code onto the github okay and for the ci and cd purposes we are using github actions so github actions is basically a a feature provided by the github so that what happens you can actually uh, execute your test cases maybe on the basis of like yeah you push the code your test cases gets your test cases execution gets started maybe you can uh, set the manual trigger you go the, you go to the repository and you are triggering the test cases manually or maybe you can set up the time okay so this is just a template basically okay so this is something which you can use definitely for interview like for your interviews while introducing yourself into in front of the interviewer okay i know i do not say that yeah this will be this will be working exactly same for all of us but yeah this can be helpful so feel free uh to update in this and uh, i hope this will help thank you so much that's all for this session if you have any queries or anything to ask feel free to ask in the comment section or you can reach out to me via any of these platforms if you find this video useful please share it with your friends thank you for your time have a very good day